why would a camel be hanging out on Capitol Hill? Well, it's not just for the fun of the tourist. There's actually a big point to be made here about your religious liberty rights. <laughs> Each year, Christian activists fighting for those rights go between the U.S. Supreme Court and the U.S. Capitol to put on a live nativity scene, including baby Jesus and all the players gathered around his manger more than 2,000 years ago. A lot of people forget it between the hustle, the bustle, all the stuff that goes, the politics on Capitol Hill. There's a reason that we do this. It's the reason for the season, and it's the birth of Jesus Christ. Some might complain the specific location of this nativity scene violates the separation of church and state. Lawyer Matt Staver of the Liberty Council says it really doesn't. There is no separation of church and state that requires the government to censor religious viewpoints in speech. And this is clearly the essential message of the Christmas season. Our First Amendment right gives us the right to get permits and to hold different events on Capitol Hill and our event happens to be our outreach which is the live nativity. Because he is the bread of life heralded by the hosts of heaven. Participants simply prayed, worshiped and read from the Bible, nothing else. We're not mixing politics in with this, we're not pushing any type of legislation, we're just letting you know what the true reason, the true uh, time of the year is. And to share that with not only people here in the nation's capital but the people around the world will be surprised as they see a live nativity in front of the United States Supreme Court. Paul Strand, CBN News, Capitol Hill.